The British Library is an absolute treasure trove. We have about 150 million collection items here, both in physical format and in the very latest digital media. Due to new legislation, we're going to start archiving the whole of the UK web space and collecting other digital publications as well, just as we have done in print for the last 300 years. And to celebrate this, we're holding a special event here at the library. Publishing is undergoing an absolute transformation. There are e-books, there are websites, mobile editions, and in order to be able to really continue collecting material to support research, we need to start collecting the very latest digital media. Welcome, good evening, thank you for coming. Tonight's event we have dubbed Capturing the Digital Universe. I remember um, at university being delighted and enthused by looking at really, really old manuscripts and being so, so pleased that someone had thought to save them. Um, and I really think that people in the future are going to have the same feeling. It's going to be that feeling of wonder. We're going to be archiving 4.8 million UK websites in the .UK web space, about a petabyte of data over the next 10 years. So that's equivalent to 100 terabytes a year. All of this content is absolutely free to come and use. We'll be starting to make digital publications available from around the summer of this year and the web archive from January 2014. But they can search for all of this material through our online catalogues. As a writer, I love the internet. The historians and psychologists and biographers of the future are going to have, to have a whale of a time with this. I think that the digital archive is pretty much um, as important in terms of the expansion of our potential for knowledge as the invention of the printing press. And when I press the button, we will begin capturing the digital universe. Thank you very much. <laughs> We really want to be able to paint a diverse picture of what life in the UK today is like for our great-grandchildren and for future generations of researchers so they can understand how we lived, how we worked and how we felt. You know, we're talking about our culture and our heritage here and that's what we exist to preserve.